Hey guys, it's me Tomplex here, back at you guys with another comic book unboxing and review. This week is a little bit different. I know I said I might be doing Keen Spawn and The Scorch, but I'm saving that for next week because I realized that I had a book that I lost and it's a character that I don't have, that I, well, I, a character that I've loved ever since I was a little kid and I still love to this day and it is The Rocketeer and I don't know what happened to that book, so I decided to get another one. And with that, I also got the comic book movie tie-in to Black Adam, the graphic novel, Black Adam, the JSA files, or the Justice Society secret files. And I heard great things about that book. It looks really awesome. I'm really excited to read it. It looks fun. And without further ado, let's get into the unboxing. Easy, because I bought these at the same time. But these just... I'm really happy that I got these because I love the Rocketeer and I love the movie Black Adam, especially Dr. Fate. I hope Pierce Brosnan makes a comeback as Dr. Fate for the new DCEU, or I mean the new DCU. And if not, hopefully I can be Dr. Fate. I'd love to be in the new DCU. But yeah, first off, we've got The Rocketeer by Dave Stevens. I don't know if Dave Stevens did the art as well. Future Me, please tell me if he did. You're right. So beautiful. Like... I mean, just look at that. Like, it's a superhero not really anybody talks about much. And now it's starting to make a comeback, which is one of the reasons why I decided to pick this book up again. Because, like, I was like, I haven't read this book in a few months. I want to read more. And honestly, The Rocketeer is my favorite, is literally one of my favorites. Very childhood favorite. IDW Publishing. Um, there's also some more. There's Rocketeer High Flying Adventures. There are quite a few. There's a new one coming out in uh april i really want to collect more because this is literally my childhood favorite superhero next to iron man spider-man i'm happy i got this book because this is honestly beautiful the art i've already read this but um it is just so beautiful the art inside is amazing it's just so cool it it takes place 1939 i think and around the start of world war ii because it does have the rocketeer fighting nazis which is pretty awesome yeah, there's just so much. Let me see if I can get to, like, the awesome, like, start of, like, his first flight. Which is essentially what we kind of see in the first movie. He does take off, and he does save uh, the character Malcolm from a biplane crash. Honestly, it just looks very cool. And believe it or not, they did make a bunch of character changes. Like, in the movie, he does have gloves. And the rocket is completely different than the one we see in the movie. It still looks pretty cool. And, and the character is completely accurate. Everything in the movie is completely accurate. They do have, like, character changes. But, like, it is a great story overall. I totally recommend you watch it. It's a beautiful movie. I may do a review on it in the future. I would love to. Honestly, just, I recommend you go watch it. It's so underrated, and it's a really good movie. It's, it, it gets so, it, it's so good. It has Alan Arkin in it. May he rest well. Bill Campbell as Cliff Secord, the Rocketeer. There's a whole list of cast, and there are some great actors in it. A person who played James Bond. I'm honestly just really happy because th this character is literally one of my favorite characters of all time. And seeing like all this and seeing like all this in my hands again, like it just makes me so happy. <laughs> it just he gets hit by he gets hit by a biplane. Scrack! Woof! I love how they have like like the classic like this is this was made in the in the eighties and 
is it still holds up i love how they because it takes place in the 30s but it was made in the 80s and they have like the classic sound effects this book is just amazing and this book is just amazing i totally recommend you buy the book and watch the movie too like buy the rocketeer books watch the movie it is very amazing but yeah let's read the back cliff secord a down on his luck pilot is always looking for ways to make a fast buck Discovering a stolen rocket pack could be his one thing that will turn his fortunes around. But will it? What follows our gov- our go pfft, government? What is wrong with me? Our government agents, German spies, deception, danger, and adventure. And Dave Stevens' high-soaring, pulp-inspired character was an instant classic when first released. Now, for the first time, all the Rocketeer stories by Stevens are collected in one softcover collection and all meticulously remastered and recolored, bringing the complete death-defying adventures of Cliff Secord and company to a brand new audience. This is the world of the Rocketeer. Man, that is just so cool. It is beautiful. Uh, just, just, just look at this panel right here. It is so cool. I love it. If this one, which is the movie variant, you can tell because it has like this bit and it has the dual engine bit on the back. And again, you have the GB which is a really cool plane in my opinion. I have a model of this, I haven't built it yet, but I really want to, but it's really good. Well, it's a racing plane, but it's it's so beautiful. All right, enough geeking out from me. Thank you, God! I know the art, I know the story. Gotta give this like a 20 out of 10. And movie, 100 out of 10. It's a beautiful movie, great book. I totally recommend you watch it. It's so underrated and you should watch it and you should read the books. They're awesome. All right, now up next is Black Adam and the Justice Society Files. I love you have the poster of the movie. Just, I really love The Rock portrayed Black Adam perfectly. Everyone did an amazing job portraying their characters. I really hope we see more of the Justice Society in the new DCU. God, Doctor Fate was just perfect. I, I, I look. I know. I, I know the movie is called Black Adam, and they have the Justice Society and a bunch of great characters. But Doctor Fate is just so good in this movie it is amazing i love i love pierce brosnan as james bond and i loved dr fate and it is just spot on and it is the best and it's the only live action on like movie iteration of dr fate and i really wish we see more of it because especially this costume like this is the this is literally a perfect dr fate costume and i love it yeah i really want to see more of it oh, god this is just so beautiful. All right, let's uh, let's read the back. The balance of power in the DC universe is about to change. In my opinion, it actually did because now we just stop because we established Black Adam as like as like ruthless with the powers of Shazam, and he could easily kill him. Trying into the events of DC's Black Adam film, the Justice Society files were introducing the Hawkman, Cyclone, Adam Smasher, and Doctor Fate and their adventures that lead them to their fateful meeting with Black Adam. Also in this collection, as a pivotal moment in the film of Teth Adam and his son Harut, begins to unfold in ancient Kandak. Modern day Kandak meets a new hero, antiques professor by day, cultural recovery specialist by night, Adriana Tomas. And unfortunately for Adriana, she is about to liberate a sacred totem from the Ron interesting party, Intergame. I love how they introduce Intergain in this movie because Intergain is a major like bad guy role in Black Adam Rise and Fall of an Empire. I have like those books, all the books that somewhat tie into the film. Well, not tie in, but like what the movie are based on and it's just really good. I totally recommend it. Uh, Rise and Fall of an Empire, Jeff Johns. And I'm trying to remember, uh, they, ha they have like a couple issues of the JSA uh, like Jeff John's JSA in one book called The Dark Age. Well, not The Dark Age. It's um, hang on a second. I gotta get. In the, I gotta find my, my. I'm gonna get into my library. Black Rain. That's what it is. That collects a couple issues from the Justice Society, which are in my JSA Omnibus Volume Two. Which um, which a couple of like old members of the JSA join Black Adam in liberating Kondok, and that leads into Rise and Fall of an Empire, and the final like couple issues of the JSA Omnibus Volume Two. It's really good. I totally recommend you read them. I, and then those last couple issues of JSA I was falling to lead into Dark Rain, which is the final like Black Adam part of the run. It's really good. I totally recommend it. It is so good. And the art, the art is amazing. It looks beautiful. I, I want to get to the Dr. Fate issue because that's going to be a trip. <laughs> I 
Aha. Oh, definitely. Definitely a trip. It looks amazing. I really love seeing like all the different pieces and like the parts of his life that we see. Oh, this is a good one. This is beautiful. This is a really good Dr. Fate puzzle. I love the design of the helmet. It's split. It's just like one half, the perfect side, like the clean one being like Nabu, the perfect, like the God, the wisdom, and the other side distorted and angry and like ready for battle. And that's the man inside or like the human inside, whoever bears the helmet. Oh yeah, and here's uh, the one, and here's the page where it shows all of them on the back. You have Hawkman, Cyclone, Dr. Fate, and Adam Smasher. It's pretty good. It's just a beautiful, it's just beautiful art on the back end. And it's the same artist all the way through. It's just so beautiful. I have another movie tie-in book, which is DC's uh, The Flash, The Fastest Man Alive, tying in Ezra Miller's movie. If you haven't seen it, I totally recommend you watch it. It is one of my favorite DC movies thus far. I think tied at number one for DC movies are The Flash, Black Adam, uh, The Snyder Cut, Su The Suicide Squad by James Gunn, um uh, uh the batman and peacemaker definitely man of steel batman v superman there's the, Shaz the, the shazam movies which honestly in my opinion are really good I have, I have a bunch of favorite dc movies i think some of my least favorite ones have to be suicide squad like the watered down version of the air cut i really want to see the air cut because it looks because from what i've heard like he has it on his laptop and he only shows it shows it to a select few people but honestly i'm just uh, i would love if he released it one day with permission from warner bros just like i would just love to see that although i feel like they couldn't really release it now because it's gonna be like oh what happened to this universe you want to see it for more of this universe it's like we need a clean slate dude but honestly please keep as miller's the flash they played the role perfectly jam's gonna make it happen i honestly was so hyped when i uh, i was confused when i heard the rock was playing a character called Black Adam. Like I didn't, I never heard of Black Adam before. And I knew Dwayne Johnson's work and I was like, all right, I'll see it. And then I clicked on DC Fandom and they showed that mini clip of like the escape in the cave or like escaping the tomb. And it is just, it just blew me away. And I was like, I'm hyped. And they also showed like a first mini sneak peek for the Flash movie and Peacemaker, bunch of great projects. Everything was going so well, and then Warner Brothers executives decided to fuck it up, and it crashed. Any of you guys actually? Any of you guys excited to see the new Aquaman movie? I'm intrigued to see it. I I love Jason Momoa's work as Aquaman. I'm just not very excited to see Amber Heard in this movie. I heard this movie is more like a horror movie and a brotherly relationship. It's going to focus more on Orm and Arthur, and that makes me happy. More of the relationship between him and Arthur, and see it progress more that's gonna make me happy yeah i just hope we see more character interactions in this movie and like more personal growth because honestly the first aquaman movie was really good and i wouldn't consider it the best dc movie though i put that at number two uh, every movie i listed s oh, like i listed that i say are the, some of my favorite dc movies are s tier in my opinion uh a tier aquaman f tier Suicide Squad from watered down version of the A or cut, uh, Justice League. That's that's below F tier. We need to open up more of the alphabet because that movie sucked. The only thing I really liked in that movie was Ezra Miller's Flash because they really stole the show, and they really did a good job, even with a crappy script. But the Justice League has to go below F tier. I'm really excited to see how James Gunn does Superman. It's gonna be pretty fun, honestly. The way he describes it, it sounds amazing. Sorry if I'm just like lamenting. I'm just very. I'm just like looking at all the books that I have so far, and um, let me show you. So the stack of books I have, I've just added these two. I'm still. I just started working through Alex Ross's DC run, and I am actually halfway through Justice, and then I'm gonna start Kingdom Come. Finish that and then do Justice League World's Great Superheroes, then do all the Flash. I have Flash by Francis Manipal and Brian Buc Buccoletto Omnibus and Rebirth Deluxe Edition Complete Collection by Joshua Williamson, uh, Spider-Man by Tom McFarlane, Batman Year One, and Morbius Living Vampire Omnibus, and also these two, if I had to mention that already. So I have... 
12 books to get through if I don't buy more. Yeah, but uh, Black Cat and Justice Society Files, 12 out of 10 from what I see so far. Like, whenever I give any number above 10 out of 10, it, it means that I'm excited to read it and I know it's going to be good. But yeah, uh, so far everything has just been great across the board. And yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. Please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. Please just subscribe to my friends. Their channels are in the description down below. Please make sure to subscribe to me. It really help the channel a ton. Let me know if you want me to do a movie review of The Rocketeer because I would really love to for you guys. Maybe I will. I don't know why I asked in the first place then. I'm going to finish uh, Alex Ross's DC run and then do a review on that. Then work on The Flash and hopefully finish off collecting Frank Miller's Batman run and then do more Spawn, uh, more Flash, and then hopefully finish all the absolute editions of the Sandman. I still have that series I need to do. Yeah, thank you everybody so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!